died saving it all for me. Yes, Crotchy, it is. This is great. I'm gonna love all this stuff. You know, actually, Crutchy, it's not all for you. But look, look, look! Santa Claus came last night. What are those orange things, Dave? It reminds me of Lorena Bobbitt. I didn't know you knew about her. Stuff, Dave, I do. Wow! Where is everybody? Where's him? Everybody's still sleeping, Crotchy. I don't know. It's quarter of, nine, quarter of eight. Anyway, who is that old man up there? He's not very old, actually. That's Captain Humphrey Hughes. My great, 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 great grandfather. He's a sea captain. Wow. Hello. Hello, Crotchy. It's Humphrey. <gasps> wow, I didn't know he talked. Yes, he does. Merry Christmas, Crotchy. What an amazing day. Wow. All right, let's get the business and open some of these things. Yeah. yeah. RV Rebel Girl is uh, having a little uh, pre-Christmas uh, festivities there uh, with some of the nomads. Lance is going to bring uh, Uncle it, Lance it, you know, One of the prerequisites is that everybody yeah, takes pictures, pictures of everything, right? It's all about the uh, the YouTube. It doesn't matter what you do, it's what the YouTube thinks you do. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my goodness. You're going to put on a few pounds with that, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. From our camp to yours. All right, a happy Christmas there, RV Rebel Girl winner. What was the what was the award she won? I can't even remember. She did win a cami though, and uh, Carolyn, your uh, statue is statuette will be coming out very soon, yeah, wherever you are. Anyway, I hope you get it. Anyway, yes, it's Christmas morning here. Uh, the family still hasn't gotten up yet. I don't know. It's almost eight. It's eight o'clock, and everyone's sleeping in. But anyway, uh, anyway, so yeah, Crotchy's awake. He's, he does have some presents under the tree, so uh, it'll be cool. Anyway, I thought I'd do a quick little uh, Christmas. What should Santa bring all of some of my favorite nomads? Uh, first, I thought of Nomadic Fanatic. What does Nomadic Fanatic need that he doesn't have? Well, other than a girlfriend, right? Uh, I, no, I, I, think, I think what he would want more than that is... You know, he has, let's see, he has the satellite dish, he's got the big screen TV, he's got, you know, the, the huge subwoofers, he's got every bell and whistle you could imagine for that big Class A of his, but he doesn't have a bowling alley. That's right, so uh, there, there's got to be somebody that sells some sort of a, a bowling alley device thing that you could put in an RV with, the, you know, pins at the end and a big runway so that Santa should bring Nomadic Fanatic a bowling alley. What should Christmas bring? Camper Van Kevin and, um, and uh, Van Life with Sheldon's Travels, Mike and Stephanie. Bring them peace and an acknowledgement that life is too short for a feud and that they should all get together. Kevin, the Wolf Pack, Stephanie and Mike, they should all give each other a big hug and have a big turkey dinner this Christmas. All is forgiven. What should Santa bring line screw? Carolyn's RV life. We all know that he really, really likes her. She's in his head all the time. He can't stop thinking, <laughs> thinking about her. And uh, wouldn't it be nice if maybe they got together for dinner and... Hmm, found out that they really, really, you know, beyond the veneer they both put up for YouTube, they find out that they're soulmates. Wouldn't that be nice? And maybe sometime this year, the big bottom of YouTube wedding, Carolyn and Andrew. Wouldn't that be nice? Ah. What should Santa bring living free Mike? A jobby poo. That's right. Settle down. 
<laughs> punch the clock, get a weekly paycheck, say hi to the boss, hang out at the bar with the co-workers, but you have a job, somewhere to be from 9 to 5 or from 6 to 10 or from overnight shift or whatever, or, you know, the 24-hour Walmart or the whatever. But get them a jobby poo, respectability, and start building that 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 uh, retirement fund, okay? You're going to need that sooner than you think. So, yeah. Yeah, a jobby poo with a W-2. <laughs> What should Santa bring? Cheap RV living Bob. Well, I was thinking, you know, now that he's kind of scaling back the RTR, he's only going to be doing the seminars this year. Camping is on your own. And he's got the Howa charity going, you know, helping a dozen people, maybe, maybe not even that, six people a year on that. Anyway, helping some folks with that and all of his wonderful videos of instructions on, on nomadic life. What does, what does, what should Santa bring? Bob, how about an amusement park that he could buy? <laughs> call it call it Bob's Nomad World. Somewhere somewhere in the vicinity, somewhere on the East Coast, like perhaps Pigeon Forge, somewhere near Dollywood. Bob's Nomad World. Yeah, can you imagine that yeah, down the street from Dollywood, Bob's Nomad World amusement park? I see big things for Bob in 2020. But should Santa Claus bring, bring Aaron Baxter, the, the director of the Cami Awards? Perhaps a job at a big network like ABC where he could actually direct a real awards show like the Oscars or the Emmys even. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, the tree's on? Did you turn it on? Yes, I turned the tree on. Oh, cool. Everybody's still sleeping in this morning. The dogs are up, though. Hi there! Merry Christmas! How are you? Oh, there's a prisoner two for you under the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What should Santa bring destination open road? How about a real knockdown, drag out fight? Huh? They're just such nice people. They always seem to get along with everybody. Maybe they need to have a feud with somebody or something. A really nasty feud. <laughs> in 2020. Yeah. I don't know who that would be with, but that would be kind of, that would be drama and that would spice up things. So yeah, you know, a nice nasty feud for Destination Open Road and somebody else. That, that, and then a whole bunch of crazy videos on it. Yeah. That's what I want to see. What should Santa bring Chrome at Van City Van Life? A, uh, a, co a yoga course to calm him down, to meditate, to relax, to reduce his hyperactivity, to chill, and to just relax. Yeah, kick back. What should Santa bring? Butterfly Gypsy. A winning lottery ticket. <laughs> Plenty of money, so she doesn't have to do whatever she does to get more of it. That's what I think. Yeah. Should Santa bring RV Deb's journey? Bring back her stolen channel. That's right, the pimple popper people. They need to g give it back to her. So whoever stole that channel, they need to bring it back and Santa should give it back to her with no strings attached, fully monetized. Oh yeah. Oh, I know. What should Santa bring Wanderlust Estate? How about one of those fancy Peloton exercise bikes? He likes to do hiking and stuff, but, but you know, there's still a lot of time in the day. One that would fit into one, you know, his van there, and he could just be back there. <laughs> or, or, or some sort of an exercise bike that you can ride while you're driving, you know. Wouldn't that be cool? You control the, the speed of the vehicle with your hands, and the, but then you're, you're drive, you know, while you're driving, you're pedaling a bike or something. You know, I don't know. Or maybe a different way of traveling, a bicycle. I don't know. I don't know. But a Peloton bike would be great for him, I think. You know, it would help him get healthier. Yeah. What should Santa bring Klierski the Creeper? How about an uh, acting job in Hollywood? He was great in some of those, uh, you know, doing some of those bit parts and some of those uh, shows on cable, you know, where he's handcuffed and walked into a prison cell or something. Those are, he was good in those, and I'm sure there are plenty of those jobs 
bit part jobs and stuff like that that he could get, maybe even become a big star. I think he needs to go to Hollywood. Santa needs to give him some sort of a Hollywood career. Oh, yeah. Should Santa bring Black Bagate? How about one of those big 10, I don't know, big one of those big 100,000 YouTube buttons, one of those big 100,000 subscriber YouTube buttons. He's made it. He's made the big time. He's graduated from the Boyd. <laughs> you could never leave the Boyd. Anyway, yeah, that's what he needs in 2020, and I think Santa's going to bring him one of those, yeah. What should Santa bring Rob at Little House on the Road? How about a big, beautiful spread of land there somewhere in a beautiful part of Missouri so that he could set up his off-the-grid house or his off-the-grid whatever trailer or whatever he's doing or else keep his current vehicle. But a beautiful spread of land where he'll be left alone with no government, no nobody bothering him, no crazy drunken nomads staggering over and bothering him. Just a nice, beautiful piece of land where he and his wife can just relax and be free and feel free from all the craziness of society. That's what Rob needs, and that's what Santa should bring him. What should Santa bring Glenda Sully? How about a job on The View? <laughs> She needs to be one of those gals on The View. I think she'd be great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What should Santa bring my doxinator? How about Reuben, the bulldog? It wouldn't it be nice if we got a little uh, meetup between Reuben, the bulldog, the famous bulldog there in Wilmington, North Carolina, with that huge YouTube channel, and his beautiful French bulldog, Jilly? Wouldn't that be nice? And uh, maybe a marriage. Reuben and Jilly. I don't know. Uh, a canine festivity for the Doxinator in 2020. Hey Santa, are you listening? And for all those YouTubers who are out, and new YouTube nomads who are out in courtside, ho 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 to all you folks, and I hope Santa brought you a little bit of snow. Yeah, it's supposed to rain, there's precipitation forecast, but let's hope Santa cools it down just enough to make it wonderful, slushy, cold snow on this Christmas day. All right, folks, I knew doing a show like this, There's I can't mention everybody, okay? I, there's more names I can think of that I would, you know, hey, let's do the, no, I got to stop it somewhere. But, uh, <clears throat> oh, you didn't mention me, you didn't mention me, you didn't mention me. Well, you know. <laughs> hey, everybody, thank you. All you. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas. We're still waiting. For the, uh, for the special guest of our Christmas celebration here to wake up. It's almost 8.30 now. <laughs> She's sleeping in. But when she wakes up, we'll be ripping all these open. Wow, I'm looking forward to it. I'm like a kid again. Oh, yeah. Stuff for Crotchy and the dogs and everybody here. So, uh, all right, folks. You all have a really wonderful Christmas. I'll talk to you later. Vlog under. It's 12 noon, crotchy time. Wow. And I've got a trailer, too. I'm going to camp in this. There I go. This will look good on the back of little Adam. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, the damage has been done. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, that's all garbage. <laughs> a ski ball. I would love that. That ski ball would be great. I could, we, could, we could set it up. Yes. I love that. It's going to be fun. A home ski ball thing. I remember doing ski ball when I was a kid at oh, I Wildwood. I used to love that. In Cape May, yeah. Wow. Well, Amelia's got lots of things to do. Woohoo! Holiday troll! Holiday troll!